I am my lovely Dodo. Today is a big day and I can't wait to see you. You should be there already, my love. You know, just want to let you know that I love you so much and um, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you, baby. That's all for you. Marriage is a sacred institution, the basis of human society, and should be held in high honor among all men and women. We are assembled here in the presence of God to Dorothy the Gentis, okay, and Jonathan Albert, okay, in holy marriage, which is instituted to God, regulated by his commandments, and blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ. Please come together. Face me. Both of you. There you go. Let us therefore reverently remember that God has established sanctified marriage. Reverently remember that God has established sanctified marriage for the welfare and happiness of mankind. Our Savior has declared that a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave unto his wife. He has instructed those who enter the reg this regulation to cherish a mutual esteem and love, to bear each other's infirmities and weaknesses, to conform, comfort each other in sickness, trouble, and sorrow, in honesty, and to provide for each other and for the household. In temporal things, to pray for and encourage each other in things pertaining to God, and to live together as heirs of His grace. Who gave this woman to be married to this man? I do. Thank you. For as much as these two people have come before an ordained pastor to make these two one in the holy relationship of marriage, it is understood that neither of them are aware of any just reason as to why each other may not lawfully be joined together in matrimony. In your counseling, you said there was no reason. In your counseling, you said there was no reason. Has anything changed since then? No. Same position. Same. Okay. Pastor. Will you please pray for us, please, for the couple? Yes, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you now, Lord. Lord, we thank you for this couple, Jonathan and Dorothy, tonight, or this morning. I pray, God, that even as they join their hands in holy matrimony, Lord, and they be covenanted not only to themselves but to you, I pray, God, that you will be with them, Lord, that you will minister to them, Lord, that you will touch them. My God, that as you said in your word, that marriage is an honorable thing, Lord. And this day, Lord, we witness their marriage, Father. Lord, we thank you for bringing them together. Lord, I pray that their marriage life will be covered with your blood. I pray, dear Lord, that they will grow to love each other more and more and more, day after day after day. And Lord God, we speak against any forces of the enemy that will come to try to separate them in any form or fashion. And Lord, we thank you for them and we bless them. We pronounce blessings upon them today. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you, Father. We receive that prayer. Mm -hmm. Jonathan, do you solemnly agree before God and these witnesses to take this woman, Dorothy, to be your lawfully wedded wife, to love and respect her, honor and cherish her in health and in sickness, in prosperity, and prosper, prosperity and adversity, 
and leave all others to keep yourself only unto her, so long you both shall live. Please respond by saying, I do. Yes, I do. Dorothy, do you solemnly agree before God and these witnesses to take this man, Jonathan, to be your lawfully wedded husband, to love and respect him, honor and cherish him in health and in sickness, in prosperity and in adversity, and leaving all others, to keep yourself only unto him so long as you both shall live? Please, by responding, by saying, I do. I do. Please join hands. Can someone hold her bouquet? Bouquet. Sir, repeat after me. Yeah. I, Jonathan. I, Jonathan. Take you, Dorothy. Take you, Dorothy. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. And I do promise and covenant. And I do promise and covenant. Before God. Before God. And these witnesses. And these witnesses. To be your loving. To be your loving. And faithful husband. And faithful husband. In plenty. In plenty. And in want. And in want. In joy. In joy. And in sorrow. And in sorrow. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. As long as we both should live. As long as we both should live. Dorothy, please repeat after me. Mm -hmm. I, Dorothy. I, Dorothy. Take you, Jonathan. Take you, Jonathan. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. And I do promise. And I do promise. In covenant. In covenant. Before God. Before God. And these witnesses. And these witnesses. To be your loving. To be your loving. And faithful. And faithful. Wife. And wife, plenty. And plenty. And in want. And in want. And joy. And in joy. And in sorrow. And in sorrow. In sickness, in sickness, and in health, and in health, as long as we both shall reign, as live. long as we shall both live. May I have the reins, please? I totally forgot him. <laughs> I totally forgot him. From the side Made this beautiful token, and your pledge to each other symbolize the purity and endlessness of your love to each other. Please take her rings. Sorry. Sorry. Please extend to him the, the proper hand and the proper finger. Rings on a fingertip, please. Hold it right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dorothy, will you receive this ring from Jonathan? I do. Place it on my hand, please. Mm -hmm. All the way. And repeat after me. This ring I give to you. This ring I give to you. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of my constant faith. Of my constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. Present her the proper hand, proper finger. <laughs> Jonathan, will you receive this ring from Dorothy? Yes, I do. Place it on his finger, on his finger please. Mm -hmm. Repeat after me. Sure. This ring I give to you. This ring I give to you. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of my constant faith. Of my constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. Thank you. Old hands. Looking at each other, dreaming, 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 dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see nothing, can you? <laughs> Jonathan, Dorothy, everyone will be watching you during your marriage. You have chosen to demonstrate that with this commitment to each other, your marriage is more than joining two lives together. It is a union. Ecclesiastic 4, 9 through 12 says, Two people are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed. A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. I also want to remind you, with Jesus Christ in your life, you got three. Amen. That's a bigger battle. Amen. For as much as Jonathan and Dorothy have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God, I declare by the authority committed to me as a minister of the gospel that they are now husband and wife. According to God in the state of Florida, 
In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we have heard from these two people the acceptance of the solemn and significant vow of marriage. Grant unto them grace, courage, love, and loyalty, and faith to each other to maintain these vows to the end of the way. May they live each for each other in peace with a growing true affection, that their home may be a haven of rest and your dwelling place through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. God has joined together these two people. Let no man seek to dissolve this union. Bless me, please. Both of you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. Amen. Please turn around. Right there. Uh -huh. You may kiss the bride. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Don't get in trouble. <laughs> Don't take too, too many photos. <laughs> Why not? Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure, and I'm proud to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Orkowai. Thank you. Okay.